Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia and this is my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my top five tips to inspire your style. If you're anything like me, you get in style ruts where you just really don't feel inspired by anything in your wardrobe and you kind of start wearing the same things over and over again. I literally hate it when that happens because I feel like I end up just wasting clothes. That outfit could have been so good if I wore it that day, but instead I wore something that I wasn't that obsessed with, you know? My favorite thing to do tip number one is go through your closet at least I mean I wouldn't say go through everything go through sections at a time because it can be kind of overwhelming and put things back I take everything off the hangers and go and through and put them all back on the hangers for some reason that just kind of uh, re-familiarizes me with everything that I own because I do accumulate so many things I tend to forget things that I already own even though I might love them or they're su super standout ish I still kind of forget about them so that's a really great way to do it as well and occasionally try on the pieces as you're putting them back on the hanger as well can really inspire you as well my second tip is go through magazines but don't go through current magazines. go through old magazines so I own a bunch of Vogue issues from like like the 90s and some in the 80s as well and I love looking at those because they're really authentic I would say they're really true to that era and since I am quite inspired by certain eras not necessarily people I think that's real it really helps inspire me and also try to venture out into different country magazines since I am from Cyprus and a lot of my family lives in Europe specifically London and Cyprus I've got a lot of British Vogue's Elle's Marie Claire's that kind of thing and it's really interesting to see like the different kind of things because you could get a Chanel ad in Vogue the same season the same collection but it could be completely different let's say in Harper's Bazaar and I think that's like super cool definitely check those out it's really cool now my third thing that I've been doing for a while now that really does help me when I am in a style rut is I take a lot of mirror pictures of my outfits like I'll cut my face off and everything but just my outfits to kind of document them and I love looking at my outfits from like months ago I don't know why I think that a lot of my outfits for example are really spontaneous so to look at those now when I'm feeling like blah does inspire me a lot like if I could put that together then I can put a lot more together now my tip number four is I would say to look on social media at people, but you really don't want to be inspired by people. You really don't, uh, especially celebrities, because then you'll end up being one of those people that kind of follows every celebrity around to follow their every style move. And that's so restricting and you don't want to do that. But it is kind of, uh, inspiring I guess to like look at some of their pictures occasionally. Oh and the fourth way that I really inspire myself is I don't know if this will actually pertain to everyone but I love going to my dad and my brother's wardrobe and picking out things and wearing them because I re I am really into menswear. I really like wearing for example vintage thick wool men's trousers that are way too big on me that just hit at the hips and like a super super big chunky fisherman sweater like that is such a look to me I really like doing that especially in the winter so seasons definitely inspire me as well my summer style is no bueno my winter style though is way way better I think that goes for a lot of people you do have a lot to work with I think that the summer style months they're kind they kind of suck you're just worried about being hot oh also another way that I really inspire myself is like maybe once a week or twice a week I'll take out some pieces that I haven't worn in a while or haven't worn at all and I will hang them on the outside because I have a clothing rack that goes like this and all the clothes are really tightly put next to each other and so sometimes to get a piece I have to really kind of reach out there I'm trying to work on it trying to clear out my wardrobe but it's taking a while um, but yeah so a really great way for me to be forced I guess to style a certain thing is to take it out that week and to lay it on the front so it's very convenient I have to grab it and that really does help me I end up reaching for things that normally are really hard for me to style and I end up styling them in super in a bunch of different ways and it's really cool um, I don't know if that's the fifth tip but yeah I don't know also tumblr is great I do think that tumblr can really change your style though and I guess that's a good thing but in, for me it's a bad thing because I am I guess a chameleon in terms of style I own so many different things because I do have different moods and tumblr can really push you in a certain direction because you see so many of the same type of style or trend and so you're kind of influenced or pressured I guess to follow that trend because it looks good in the pictures 
even though it may not be your typical style and you really do want to stay true to your own style. That's why I really do encourage that you guys photo diary, OOTD, your own OOTD. I used to have an Instagram mirror pic archive. I don't know, it's, it's kind of, it's like kind of a private Instagram now. I mean, I'll have it right here in case you guys do want to follow it. It's kind of cool and um, it's like a private Instagram, but yeah, you're more than welcome to follow it. Um, and yeah, try hat. That's a great way. Skinny scarves, everything, jewelry, great way. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. I hope that you guys had a really good day. I hope this really helped. If I did inspire you, please let me know. That'd be really cool. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.